Okay, so we are ready for worksheet three is where we left off. So get out your worksheet from yesterday and go ahead and open to this third page. Um, today, this time we are going to um, divide numbers with the same base. So first we're gonna expand and that does not mean give it more space. Go ahead and expand it. Two times two times two times two because there's four divided by two times two times two because there's three on the bottom. So what you're gonna do is, we kinda did a little bit of this yesterday, two divided by two is one, so they cancel, two divided by two is one, so they cancel, two divided by two is one, so they cancel. So all you're left with is a two on the top, so the answer is just two. All right, let's try that again with number two. To expand it, you have three times three and five fives. One, two, three, four, five. Also, if I'm going too fast, you guys can pause it or go back or whatever you need to do. Um, on the bottom, there's only one three and there's two fives. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. Three divided by three is one, so those go away. Five divided by five is one and five divided by five is one. So what you're left with is nothing on bottom and on top it's only three times five to the third because there's three of those. Okay, so what you guys might have figured out is easier is subtracting. Numbers that have the same base, when you divide, you can subtract their exponents because four minus three is one, and two is the same thing as two to the one, two to the first power. Um, we only had one three, and we had three fives, and that's because if you subtract three squared minus three to the, that's a hidden invisible one, two minus one is one. 5 minus 2 is 3. So again, when you subtract numbers, sorry, when you divide numbers with the same base, you can subtract their exponents. So x to the 8th over x to the 3rd, if you subtract, it's x to the 5th. All right, let's try this one. 2 to the 3rd divided by 2 to the, that's a hidden invisible 1, would leave 2 squared. x to the 3rd minus x to the sorry, divided by, that's a hidden invisible one, so that would leave x squared. y to the fourth divided by y squared, you subtract, would be y squared. And then z is just on the bottom, so there's nothing, there's no z's on the top, so you have to leave it where it's at. So if it's on the bottom, it needs to stay on the bottom. And then you can go ahead and simplify because you guys can tell me what two squared is. So that would be four x squared, y squared, over z. Okay, explain why when you subtract exponents, oh, when you subtract them, when you divide. Um, I would say because a number divided by itself equals one. So when you divide a number by itself, it equals one, and then I would put, so it cancels out. Okay, let's try some of these together down here. A to the eighth divided by A to the third would just be A to the fifth. Seven to the eleventh divided by seven to the eighth is just seven to the third. Oh, and then you can actually solve that one. So if you weren't here yesterday or forgot, you would do seven, and then this little caret key up here to the third. Looks like, ugh, it doesn't look like that because it's not on. Seven to the third is 343. So 343. Okay, and then number eight, seven doesn't have another base, so it's gonna stay up top and just be seven but b to the fifth divided by b to the fourth would be b to the first, or just b. You can put a one there if you want. Okay, number nine, x to the 10th divided by x to the fourth is x to the sixth. And if it helps you guys to expand these, I mean, you can do 10 of these if you want. Just, I just want you to, I really want you to understand it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, over four of them. So if you were to cancel one for each of those, 
you'd be left with six. So that's why it's x to the six. Okay, let's try this one. 12 is just 12. So we're going to leave 12 there. g to the eighth divided by g to the third is g to the fifth. h to the fourth divided by h to the fourth, or sorry, subtracting would be negative one. Or again, if you expand it, if you have four h's on top over five h's on the bottom, it would leave one on the bottom. So I want you guys to leave one H on the bottom. Okay. And again, if I expanded eight of these over three of these, it would leave five up top, which is why there's five there. Okay, four eighths is a fraction. If you looked at it, if I cover up the other part and you're just looking at four eighths, that would be half, one over two. So four eighths, I'm gonna go ahead and simplify that part and call it one over two. I just drew my line longer because I know I have more. P to the 11th divided by P to the sixth is P to the fifth, but you don't really need a one there. It could be hidden invisible. So I would probably rather you guys write that as P to the fifth over two. Okay, number 12. Again, if I'm going too fast, I feel like I'm going really fast. You guys can rewind it, slow it down, whatever you need to do. Watch it again. Okay, six stays on bottom because there's only that number. You can't really do anything else with that. C to the ninth divided by C to the fourth would be C to the fifth. That would leave five up top. If you expanded nine up here and four on the bottom, they would cross off and it would leave five up top. I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> there you go. All right, 13. Again, if I cover up my variables, it's just two-fourths. So two-fourths is the same thing as one-half. So I'm going to write 1 half, and then I'm going to think about that there's three x's up top that are going to have to stay. There's eight y's up top and two y's on the bottom. So if you cancel two of those out each, it's going to leave six y's on the top. So I'm going to make my 1 hidden invisible. So I'm going to go x to the third, y to the sixth over 2. All right, last one of these. Look at your fraction first. Try to not see the x's. 3 eighteenths. 3 eighteenths is 1 sixth, right? Yeah, so 1 sixth. And then I've got 14 x's up here and 2 down here. So if I subtract those, it's going to leave 12 up top. And then I don't have any other y's. So all 11 y's are going to stay. And I'm going to simplify by getting rid of my 1. So it's just going to be x to the 12th, y to the 11th over 6. Okay, um, go ahead and either rewatch this or check out the next video for part 2.